Hello everyone, welcome back to Gotar. Right, um, let's arbitrarily had to, uh, oh no. The forces we fought before are the same Sith allies that Vatlu is using now on Isis. This moon is more than a staging base for them. It's important to them, but why? Head to the Mandalore merchant. Uh, even though I'm not really sure uh, what equipment we have, what we want to get rid of, or uh, what we need to buy. But let's see what we... Are you still holding around? You still, you still, you still a bit angry with me? You're still breathing. Oh boy. I think we should buy... Med packs. Well, they might as well just buy advanced ones. I don't see why I should get anything else. So, uh, yeah. all right. I think I think AT should do. Yeah. Um, now let's see. If you could order stuff by um, like price, I think that'd be kind of neat because they can see what's really good and what isn't. I don't, I don't, I don't know if we need anything really. You know, I don't. Not really too sure. I know, we, I know we've got plenty of stuff because we haven't sold anything in a while. So yeah, I just. But I think honestly that was the best thing I could have bought. <laughs> really, that was the best thing I could have possibly bought. Um, some of the um, comments that I got about my choice of uh, expedition to get the Sith. Um, apparently, it's going to be pretty difficult. And you know what? I really do not mind that because. Uh, aside from a few exceptions, uh, mostly when I screwed up. For example, when Ayana wasn't in the party that time, when we were through Goto's ship, um, and uh, when I was just being a mirror, um, it's been easy, honestly. And some uh, people have like been saying, "How come it's so easy for that?" I actually, I really struggle with this because, well, Ayana is pretty badass, and you know, I've, I've happened to have made a really cool, awesome build for a character. Um, so let's see, let, let's, let's challenge, let's, you know, have a challenge and uh, have to press something other than lightning to win a fight. So I'm up for that. I'm definitely up for that. After the ambush, Kelvin's been pushing to get the entire base 100% operational. So, I have work I gotta do. Just kind of saying hello to people, but they, they, they don't care, so. But I bought lots of mid packs, you know, because we might need them. We may well need them. Are you ready to head to the enemy base? It will be a long journey through the jungle. I'm ready! As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Isis. Good of him. So which one, which set are we going to be first? Alright, yeah, so we got some levels up. close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further, but then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So lead on. So here we are with our party, such as it is. <clears throat> Disciple, go to, and uh, let's go. And you. All right. Let's let's see what equipment kind of things we've got because I know I've struggled in the past to. Um, I need 16 constitution to get that, which could be good because these are, this is rubbish. So 16 constitution could be a thing. What's he got now? Huh? So... Maybe, um, because it's an implant or something, but he's... He's already got what he needs in terms of stats. Uh, we got the image of poison, which I think is the best thing here, really. So we'll we'll leave that. Um, yeah, this. All right. See the the, the this it would be nice to have this. Um, we need heavy armor and master power attack. That's what we need. So let's dig into here. Master flurry. There's power attack. So I don't know if we can get the power attack, but that's what we want. We want master power attack to get that, and that's a really nice item, so we can focus on that, because I don't think he needs much else. Uh, we've also got the strength plus two, though, which is probably the best thing that he's got. All saves, all saves, yep. Um, 
because he seems to be a strength-based character with his uh, fighty fighty s stuff. Um, well, um, other than that, um, yeah, we just have that, and then just a heavy blaster, which is probably how it's going to stay as well. He doesn't really have any uh, proficiency with either. Well, he's got a blaster. There's no point giving him, not giving him something a bit more with something a bit more umph, like a disruptor rifle. That's a heavy, a heavy weapon, isn't it? No, oh, no, it's a blaster rifle. Well, yeah, and it's upgradable as well. But that's a bit late for that, isn't it? And Lauren, heavy blaster. Plus one. All right. I think we'll get that. <clears throat> let's level him up with the uh, power attack thing in mind. I don't know how many levels we'll have, but let's uh, give it a go. So yeah, he's our. Well, they. they um, mm, mm, mm. Let's do one repair. You can't treat injury, which is uh, kind of unfortunate, really. Any, uh, let's keep <laughs> lately, just just quite late in the game, putting stuff into an injury for him. Okay, so we get an attribute. So let's stick that. All right, there. I think that's what it was. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll put it in constitution. We'll get a skill. Oh, more skills. Yeah, this is the usual. It's fine, and we'll go with uh, with the improved power attack. Cause I don't really. Uh, well, there's the toughness. It depends how many, if we get another feat, because if we get another feat, this is probably going to be worth it. The extra toughness gives us plus one vitality point per level. Although, what's that? You know, 20 vitality. Um, he's already got the... Um, so it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. I can get this now for something that's not as good, but I know I will get. You know? Or I could wait in the hope that it'll get some more levels. I think I've leveled loads since I've used him, though. So I think I'm going to try for that. I'm honestly going to try for it. Uh, okay. Let's just see. Let's just see whether the gamble pays off or whether it just gets a power attack thing. We're now a specialist again, which is nice. Put one to these, even though it doesn't really matter too much, because Goto is also a uh, character with plenty of skills and such. Ah. Mind you, we've almost... Not really leveled up again. Alright, so you, my friend. Let's see uh, what you have equipped. I don't think I've ever used you at all. So, uh, right, let's see. So, computer use and security. Fortitude, constitution. Somebody said he was actually a decent... Um... Ooh. Awareness minus three, though. I think we. Well, I don't think we need the skills. I, I'm going to put that on. Mind you, I might use him. He's a scout droid, isn't he? So I can send him ahead in stealth mode. And if he's not very aware, then yeah, let's put that on again. So we got computer use plus five in intelligence, or we can get um, same thing or repair. So he can repair himself a little bit better now. We'll, we'll, we'll just stick to um, what he's already got here. Um, I think this is. Brilliant, so I might just keep that. Okay, I'm gonna play in six. That's better. That is much better. Um, we get seven. Oh, hello. Damage move completely versus fire. Yeah, I'll put that one on. Uh, toxin emitter, well, we are against the Sith and they are going to be, uh, gonna take that, aren't they? And then we got the droid, oh, what, what is this? Uh, droid repulsor. Yeah, droids, I don't think it's going to be much of an issue. We'll get the, the cold thing because that'll also freeze them. Here we've got the, yeah, I, uh, let's see. What is the max damage? Anyway, I think that's... Oh, there we go. It says there. 80. Um, 
let's get that one on, might as well. And we've also got this one, which does electrical damage. Let's see, one to eight and plus electrical. Oh, that's got a, ooh, that's got a big attack modifier. Oh, and we've got this one as well, which is good against droids. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold it for this, uh, that one. All right, so that's what we're going to use. Good stuff. Right, let's level him up. Yeah, I might bang a lot into uh, awareness since I'm. Uh, that's what he's going to be doing. Use him as a scout droid thing. All right, so we've got the scramble droid thing. Oh yeah, so he can he can do that if we meet any droids, which is kind of nice. So we'll do that. He's got his droid upgrades. Uh, yeah, let's give him the extra plus one attack with blaster pistols. Seems wise. And uh, yeah, we, need, we need to make you aware. So I think <clears throat> that's what we need to do. We got a diverse range of skills, at least. Um, to make it even more dexterous, so he can hit things or take a bit more, a few more hits. Mind you, he's not, the only two of them are going to be using health packs, aren't they? So I think we can afford to spam the um, repair things on you. There we go. That's caught up now. That's nice. We'll put a little bit more to you, and then computer use and repair and security, even though, you know, they're the sort of things that, uh... Repair, security, and computer use again. Uh, demolitions and stealth. Stealth, of course, is something that I think I'm going to stick some stuff into with you. Because he doesn't have any stealth, yeah. Um, hmm... Although I think his emitter sort of makes up for that, doesn't he? Alright, let's start anyway, so we'll kind of see how that goes. Right then. Uh... The others are depending on us to see this through. Good. The others are depending on us to see this through. Yeah, we know that. You said it again. Should I lead with you? I'm listening. Don't say it again. The others are depending yeah, okay, on us. Yeah, okay, we know. What the... Others are dependent. Yes. Oh, right. <laughs> Going the wrong way. Uh, so close combat, close combat, shooty. Um, just throw a couple of grenades up there first, shall we? Just uh, I mean, do much at all, did it? <clears throat> all right. Uh, pew pew. Flurry. Yeah. Flurry. This won't take a long time. Well, go on then. Oh, okay, he's dead. That'd be why he didn't flurry anymore. Uh, okay, go on then. There's actually four of us, we've got remote as well. Alright, so these... Well, obviously they're less of an issue than perhaps... Uh, well, the first enemies we faced, aren't they? So, hello. All right. So, anyone know demolitions? How do I find this out? <laughs> so, you have demolitions. Okay. So, yeah, you basically can see it. Let's uh, try and recover it because we're going to use all the help we can get. So I kind of like this. Hold a moment. Pass the mines. There's a thing. A Type Two perimeter motion relay. Hmm. That particular model has several security vulnerabilities and design flaws. Stealth field generators can fool them. If one of us could get close to it, ah. then the corporate override code for it. Amateurs shouldn't even bother building security technology. So you aren't completely ignorant in the ways of battle. Good. But all of you must pass through its perimeter, and undetected would be better. Avoid the mines. 
If any of the ones close to the sensor are detonated, then we shouldn't even bother. Well, luckily we have a floating droid! Status active. Good. Uh, single mode. Single mode. Doop -ba -doop -ba oh, hang on. <laughs> One minor thing here. Um, there we go. Look at that. So, so far, Bordeaux knew what it was. Goto had the uh, ability to do it. That, that's pretty amazing. That is, that is, that's really nice so far. Comes quietly. Uh, well, re repair it. There we go. Lovely. All right, you stay there. What's going on? Well, we've got someone who can disable these mines. So, so far, so good for this. Absolutely. Uh, oh, right, yeah, it's the stealth field. You'd never know anything was there, would you? <laughs> Completely invisible! <laughs> Yeah, that's good. So far, so good with this party, at least, you know. Yeah, like I said, there's, there's four of us with, uh... with remote. Good! Alright, let's, uh... I'll just gather up again. All right, so are you going to, um... Something you need of me? Wander off now. So, lead on. You say lead on. You're not following me. But all right, good. Right, save that. Yeah, that was a success for this little excursion. We're in. A thing. And some other things. Shot. Right, now get in there. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Several manual levers and the good old store for it. Rewire it? Cause it to explode. I'll just turn it off. Why would we cause it to explode when we try and. Don't set off the mines, but you can make these explode. Alright, okay, right then. That's where we're heading, guys. Alright, save it again. Status active. Still field active. It's gonna take a little while to get there. But we are gonna get there, because maybe we can, like, sneak around and stuff, and, uh. Because this guy is playing his skills, doesn't he? You know, he can, uh. do stuff, he can. He can't disable mines, which is kind of a big thing. But he's stealthy enough. He's aware to see the mines, at least. And he, he can repair and, and break into things. So, yeah, he has his limitations, but then every character does. And I do not mind that one bit, honestly. Wait, can we hack this to be on our side? Don't mind then. Because that would be kind of neat, wouldn't it? But all these are... Ooh! <laughs> okay! Alright, and that's obviously... Uh... I... I... Oh, I can't. Aww! I had... I had a... An, an, I had an idea there of luring the Sith into the, <laughs> there. But, uh... But no. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Yep, there's a, a, another generator. Just ignore the grass moving by itself and the whirring and everything, guys. There's a captain. There's a generator behind it then. I can't I can't see a generator. I see control module, but maybe it's behind the ship. We're on a stealth mission, guys. That's what we're doing. There's some elite troopers, don't stand a chance. Oh, there's, there's, there's one of those things around there, so. I won't be able to get around here because these rocks will completely block my path. I thought so. 
Don't mind me. <laughs> Don't mind me. The thing is, I'm going to have to go out of, out of stealth to uh, get that. Alright. Just having a little look, see what there is. Now, I might be able to uh, actually get that and then stealth again, because it's out of the way of everybody. I don't know what good it does, but we're going to give it a go. Go away. Alright, let's, let's give this a go. Let's just turn it off. Yeah. Droids in the area should no longer function. Were there many droids? Let's have a look. So we got uh, troopers and troopers and troopers and troopers and stuff and grenadiers. I don't actually see any droids, but um, unless the troopers are droids, but I I doubt that. Oh no, wait, that that. The reason we can't highlight them is because they are now inactive. Okay, so we've helped ourselves there quite a bit. So we've got two groups before we go in. Uh, we've got that group there, which is kind of the main group, and then this group off to the side. So if we can attack these without those noticing, that will highly increase our chances of battle and stuff. But let's see how good this guy is at sneaking. <laughs> Seemingly very. It's not going out. Let's not be greedy. Alright, because I'm sure I saw a generator, but... Grenadier, not generator. Jesus Christ. Alright, so there's little point. Um, yeah, and that's out. So we've disabled all the security that we got. So we're not going to have to attack them, are we? We're going to have to attack them. So let's go ahead and do that. Well done, Goto, by the way. Well done. Goto or Goto, I know. I slight variance in the uh, pronunciation there. But... Come to me! To me, my fellows! Oh, okay, and he's actually following, which is great. So, let's go. We can actually use these. Oh, uh... I'll just inject you. You need your stamina, because you're going head first. Something you need of me? Head first, pretty much. Okay, we're ready. Let's go, guys. Let's stick together. Let's stick together, but over here. Let's stick together, but this direction. Intruders, kill there we go. A couple of mines, I think, will be on the uh, go here, like a uh, thermal detonator. Well, why not, you know? I'm not, not going to use it now. I never will. Um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say these, these guys haven't joined in there. Ah, uh, that would be kind of funny. All right, yeah, we're just gonna uh, switch your weapon. That thermal de detonator probably did a lot of damage. He should. He's about dead, isn't he? He's dead. Good. Kick to the head. Stuff. Alright, you keep, uh... Ready. Move up a little bit, guys. Move up a little bit. Move up a bit more. Do they have noticed at all? Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. That's that lot taken care of. You're right, didn't. Alright, what we got here? I don't know how you're going to pick this up, by the way. Where you got some sort of scoop. With a little brush. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, now I can click on this. Slice the computer. Access the cameras. Base camp. Ah, hello. <laughs> uh, minefield. Well, that's uh, empty as well. Uh, well, that's that then. Um, so, two officer logs. Oh, cool. This is my first day on Duxon. My predecessor displeased our masters and was dealt with. 
The fool let Canox through the perimeter. The Sith don't tolerate any failure. I'm the fifth captain to command this base camp. Only the sixth. The camp sits in the shadow of a tomb. My subordinates say that the body of an ancient warlord named Freedon Nad lies inside. Nad? We don't know why we're here. We sit and make sure that no beasts come into our camp, and especially that they don't reach the tomb itself. A bleak assignment. Signing off. Don't you moan, that sounds like an easy job. This jungle feels similar to Korriban before it fell after the war. Everyone is on edge. Executions for infractions are commonplace here. Fifty percent more than my previous command. There's a bloodthirstiness to the jungle. The beasts here continually assault our mind perimeter. We had to replace the minefields four times so far. We received more equipment and more men today. The equipment went straight inside the tomb. As usual, I have no idea what it contains. Need to know, man. Need We're to know. We're expecting more Sith <clears throat> to arrive any day. They want us to capture one of the beasts for them. No explanation. There never is. Signing off. Coded messages from Orbit and from Onderon. Some sort of conflict is brewing. I think we have a ship in orbit. We're on full battle alert against what they won't say. Someone has said something about a disturbance in the force. Well, what does that even mean? <laughs> How do I prepare for that? From his tone, the threat is serious. We've put a double shift on monitoring the aerial sensor grid. Two times nothing is still nothing. So much has to be a drop ship invasion from the Onderon military. We will be prepared. The Sith said soon we'll have reinforcements. When I asked for details, he said it was a surprise. <laughs> I hate the ones with a sense of humor. Sith <laughs> jokes are rarely pleasant. Signing off. Alright, so system commands. So, run a foothold scenario? Upload area schematics. Alright, we'll do that. Don't know what that did. What did that do? Maybe we've got a map of the area now? Maybe we didn't before? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so we've got an ancient tomb, and we got... Alright, so there's a tomb in there. Okay. Well, it seems... So we can see up to here, but there's quite a bit more to this area. Alright, uh, the... Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> Should we run this scenario then? I mean, it's there to be run. I don't know what it'll do, but let's do it. Foothold scenario. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh, but... I've disabled them, haven't I? Ah. <laughs> ah. Damn. Why are you going? Okay, fine. Go around there. Look at the. Is that a thing down there? See that? Backpack? Is that a backpack? No, not a backpack. Nope. Okay, fine. Um, we got we picked up a couple of things. Let's take a little look at them. I forget what armor you've got on, actually, buddy. We didn't actually check this very much, did we? At all. Uh, the stealth unit. You don't need stealth. So let's give you some probably constitution. I was thinking another that as well. Um, but you're currently wearing see the medium armor. Five and a bunch of stuff. Actually, we're not going to do much better than that, are we? Really? Forget what. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. What we picked up that was new. Nothing's highlighted. I don't think anything's better than uh, 
what we've already got. What about you? So you got heavy armor on, but again, I I don't think we've got anything that's better. It says resistances. So does that assembly thing. Um, that's a slightly better defense bonus, but not by much. Yeah, we'll leave it. Well, we might as well. But are these guys now? Maybe he'll come to us. It's just annoying having the uh, just a random, usual, normal grenade, please. No. Yeah, come over here. Just something we don't have to deal with. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's just attack them. Next time, because it's time to leave. But uh, yeah, our little uh, raiding party here will uh, attack the um, the Sith place here, well, the tomb, and uh, we'll see what they're up to. But yeah, thanks for watching. So far, so good for this little uh, soiree. I'm liking this little party conversation. Not something I'd normally choose, but uh, I guess that was the idea. Right then, I'll see you next time. Cheers very much for watching, and toodaloo.